This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And can you believe it? I was actually able to upgrade my PC for the first time in almost 10 years. That's how old this machine is. So yeah, there we go. This was my old system. A nice MSI board. A 1050 Ti graphics card, 16 gig RAM, and so on. So I have a solid state drive and everything in there, and the power supply was good enough, so I didn't need to replace the power supply. So obviously the first thing that I did here is I cleaned it out, and I started to clean the chassis and clean the equipment, because the equipment was used to upgrade another friend of mine's PC, whose PC was about 20 years old. He still had an old Pentium. So as you guys can see, Everything is still in good condition. The only reason why I had to upgrade was that this machine couldn't handle the new AAA gaming anymore. The graphics card was too small. So I decided to get a new motherboard. And of course with a new motherboard you need to get new CPU, new RAM and so on and so forth. Because the technology has advanced so much. Um, I built this machine in 2014. And um, I started shopping around. So this video is actually just to show you guys what I got and why I got the components I chose. Shout out to Eve Tech because they were the only guys who had all the components in stock that I wanted. They were quick and reliable. They dropped the spares off. Uh, I ordered it on the Thursday. I got it on the Monday, the next week. And when I emailed them, they replied with immediate response. Super friendly people. Super, super nice. Even look at the packaging. Not too bad. Oh, and P.S. this video wasn't sponsored, just in case you guys were thinking that, okay? First off, we start with the Berea's CPU cooler. I actually got this one because of the RGB. Yeah, I know, I spent a little bit more money than I was supposed to, but it's a gaming machine. I never had a gaming machine with a lot of RGB, and I want to uh, join the modern boys and girls who has RGB. So the CPU does have a CPU cooler in it, but... This one was bigger and I just liked it a bit more. I thought it was going to be a bit more effective than the stock one that comes with the Intel CPU. And of course, I'm not one for water cooling. Um, I never trusted it. It's uh, I'm too scared of doing water cooling because one slip up and you can throw this whole machine away. Next up is the Beast Intel Core i5-14400. And it's an i5 and a 14th gen CPU. I did look at AMD. I wanted to go AMD. But I'll show you guys a bit later in the video why I decided not to go to AMD. It all has to do with price to performance. And that's why I chose the Intel. Next up is storage. I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy one because I've got more than enough hard drives and solid state drive and everything. But then I thought, why not? It's most modern. So I went for this one terabyte um, Clev uh, M.2 NVMe and its read and write speed is like almost 5000 megabytes per second so I thought this is going to be a good one. I've never used them before so I guess it's a good thing. And the only problem is now my board wants to automatically start up on that drive as a default. And I didn't put Windows back on this one. I know if I put Windows on it it would have been faster. But what I did do is I reloaded Windows back onto my old solid state drive and I'm, I set the system so that all my documents, software and everything gets automatically installed M.2 which makes my games and my programs run faster. So this is still a budget PC. I didn't even get close to buying the top of the range PC because it would have cost me like 90,000 Rand if I wanted top tier of everything. So I know the RAM that I bought has got RGB in it. It was a bit more expensive. I could have gotten this same amount of RAM for like 600 Rand, but I think I paid 1,200 for this just because of the RGB. So for RAM, I went for a 16 gigabyte set of Clef memory. There's no way I could have afforded the new graphics cards that's out now. The 40 series is the top of the range 
is costing about 45 to 49,000 Rand. This was the best card I could get for my budget. It is a lot stronger than the 1050 Ti, where I had 4 gigs RAM. This one's got 12 gigs VRAM. It's got a lot of more CUDA cores. So for me, this card was a no brainer. For the motherboard, we went with the ASUS. I needed something that's going to be compatible with all the components that I bought and I wanted something that's going to last me for at least the next 10 years. So as you guys can see it's, it's a really nice board. Um, it has all the features I wanted. 7.1 surround sound um, at the back. It's got uh, the Intel Core i5 in there now. I did have an i5 with the previous system as well so I just stayed with the i5s. It's really not a bad CPU. For what I needed to do it, it's really not bad. So now this is the part in the video where we discuss why I chose this CPU instead of AMD. Remember I told you guys it was price compared to performance. I wanted a CPU that's going to last me for a long time. Now we know AMD outperforms Intel sometimes. But the AMD CPU that I could get that is equivalent or equal to this one cost way much more than what I paid for it. Now I don't know AMD CPUs, I don't know the numbering system for AMD. So I was guessing a Ryzen 5 is equal to an i5. That's how my mind works. So here we have a 14th gen i5-14400, runs at 4.7 GHz on turbo and it's got 16 threads. Let's compare it to an AMD. The closest AMD runs at 4.7 Hz and there's only 12 threads. And as you guys can see on the benchmark, the Intel outperforms the AMD. Okay, here we go with the installation. So it's actually quite nice RAM sticks these ones, I really like the way they look. As you guys can see the CPU cooler also is a nice big cooler. Only problem is that I had was that the board is a bit small, the CPU cooler is just touching the RAM stick uh, it was a real real tight fit to get everything in but it's touching on the RAM stick at least I was able to tie everything down and everything is fitting 100% nicely but that's one of those things installing the storage was really easy straightforward it's actually the easiest thing I've ever put in before on a board Okay, graphics card time. We've got an RTX 360, 12 gigabyte of RAM, 3584 CUDA cores, and it's the OC edition. The only other card that I could compare this to was the RX 7700 XT, also 12 gigabytes of RAM, 3456 cores, but at a whopping 11,000 or 12,000 Rand, which was way more expensive than I paid for the Nvidia card. Now also bear in mind with this build, I didn't change my power supply, I didn't change my case, I didn't change my monitor, I didn't change my keyboard and mouse, so on all that stuff I actually saved money. It started up the first time, didn't have any issues with that, it posted quite easily, I just had to do some uh, BIOS adjustments with the startup to start up on the A data a solid state drive and not on the M.2 but look at that doesn't that just look pretty my RAM is also running at way higher speeds than what my older RAM used to run motherboard temperatures was about 33 degrees on startup so it's very nice and cold still I mean we just started it up and I'm very impressed with the temperatures at one point my other PC was running a CPU at 70 degrees Celsius so, um, and even now, up today, I didn't get more than 40 degrees Celsius. Now, how big of a difference did my upgrade make? Let's look at some comparisons between the old system and the new system. This was a benchmark that I ran with the old card and the old system. As you guys can see, the score was 1805. Compared to the new card, it gave us a whopping 6878 score. I know we cannot compare apples to apples here, but it makes me feel good to see a massive difference like this between my old system and my new system. Running Cinebench, you can see that my old system was way down in the list. It's a oh, shame, shame machine. 
compared to the new machine, which gave us a significant performance increase. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel. And remember, until next time, keep it safe. Cheers.